That's it, baby. The Sugar Shell stays undefeated. Woke up this morning, ranked number one in the world. Wow. She ain't you've, photoshopped. I know you've been envisioning it for a long time, but what does it feel like now? Now that you, it's, I mean, you knew you were going to get there sooner or later, but does yeah. it feel good? It does feel good. It's crazy. Like you said, it's like if I would have lost that fight, people would have been put a lot more respect on my my name. They'd have been like, damn, you lost, but the motherfucker's good. Yeah. Now it's like, you what? You what? You gotta be shitting me. I know. They're t- everyone just seems to take, o- the people who are hating on you take away from your performance and just are getting mad at the... But the people that are mad that I won are people that said I was supposed to get whooped. Right. They're like, Sean's lucky it's not five rounds. It's like, well, I mean, I my best round was my third round. Cut um, him up in your third. So let's let's go let's run run it down. The fr- I finally got to rewatch it cuz yeah. after the fight everyone was like, dude, what do you what do you think? Like, I don't fucking know. I just got punched in the head, dude. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't I haven't watched it. You guys were the ones that watched it. Right. Round 1, I thought was a close round. I Very definitely close. could you know, I I did more damage. He got a couple takedowns, didn't really do anything with the takedowns. If you want to talk about getting takedowns, I got a takedown at the end of the round. At Technically, the the that first, was 2 yeah. points, hit his knees. I took him down. So if you guys want to talk about takedowns, why is nobody talking about my takedown? I didn't do shit with it, but he didn't do shit with his either, really. Yeah. Um, I definitely did more damage. And that's kind of... I think the f- criteria of a judging a fight per round is, you know, just watch the fight. Who looked like they inflicted more damage? Round one, I could, I definitely could see how people gave me the round. Um, close round, for sure. Very round two round. was... I, even Round two was even pretty close, dude. I cracked him. He cracked me back. I could see how you give him the round, though, for sure. Yeah, I think the because he picked you up in round two, and I think that's where a lot of people were stuck on, that, oh, he dominated that because he picked you up and kind of slammed you in round... Well, that was round two, right? I think it was one. Was that round one? I think so. I think so. And then round three was definitely my best round. Um, for sure, did way more damage round three. A couple of those takedowns people were saying, too, it's like I, I fell for a guillotine up against the cage. It yeah. was a shitty, like, I didn't have his neck. I, I kind of, he, he was good at hiding his neck. But, I, I mean, that wasn't really a takedown. It was more of a failed submission attempt on my part. And then I tried to hit him with that little trip he hit me, which just drives me crazy that he got me on that because <laughs> I was hitting everybody and sparring with that shit. And in the ra- right at the end of the round three, I tried it on him, failed, ended up on my back. I mean, you could call it a takedown. It was more of a, just a shitty attempt on my end. Um but like it's not like he didn't do any damage on top. No, and you were um, constantly throwing up triangles, yeah, throwing up a kimura, trying, you had yeah, arm point. bars, kind of. They weren't like necessarily. Oh no, that's close. But I was making him work, making yeah. him think he couldn't just rest or he couldn't, you know, just do damage because he was having to defend. He wasn't throwing bombs on ground and pound, and he hit you a couple of times with his ground and pound. But it wasn't anything that you looked at and you're like, oh my gosh, that was fight changing or altering. Yeah. So, but I do want to talk about. That second round when you cracked him, boom! Oh, all of that you, happened within the first minute. Yeah. So was was your emotions when you hit him? Was it anything, or was it just like okay, still fighting? Yeah, I mean, I, I just was I was in a flow the entire yeah. time. There wasn't any time where I was, you know, I got that. He's just one of the best, considered the best boxer in the UFC. I fuck cracked him. Was trying to put him away. He cracked me back with a nice left hand. Was that the hardest you've been hit? Do you think? Oh, hands down, hundred percent hardest. I've been, Boom, ate that like but people it, i don't know it, it was it was almost a good thing that f- fight played out like that it's like and there's still people that are just like st- talk about leg kicks and shit i know and, just, uh, and they're like high level fighters that talk about stuff like that and they're just so fucking stupid yeah, but uh it was cute. <laughs> yeah like kick his legs take him down that's how he beat me it's like well that didn't work um i think that was like the most i'm sure a lot of fans like seeing you get rocked like that was weirdly comforting knowing that you could take a punch from the, peter a clean punch yeah. in the jaw like he hit you almost perfectly and you ate it I dude mean, you, you watch that you, in slow-mo i mean you don't get much more powered no. perfection than that left hand he landed on my face so like for weirdly enough for me ever since i saw you hit take that hit i was like oh my because you haven't been hit in a long time I don't get hit often, um, and people think if you don't get hit often, that means you probably don't can't take a punch. Right. I think it's opposite. Like the less you get hit, the more of a punch you can take. And I've never, I've always known I could take a good shot. I just never really had to. Um, right, you haven't in a long. Yeah, but yeah, I'm sure that, like the sugar fans are like, oh fuck yeah, I was, got a chin. And then the people that hate me are like, just loved probably seeing that. But oh, they yeah. hated that I didn't get dropped by it. Yeah, that was very impressive. What about those body kicks? How were they? How did they feel? 
Because they look, he ripped you good. He ripped, the, that was just also good to see because you just you the see. body kicks was you just you gotta t- mentally just fight through that. I know he landed a good body kick up against the cage, and then I threw a fucking right hand that landed nice. But those body kick, he throws a sneaky, snappy, quick body kick, no load up. Just boom! Throw he throws a nice, nice body kick. He throws, he, he dude, he's one of the best guys in the world. Yeah. And I outstruck him. Number turned yeah. him into a wrestler. You know what I mean? And yeah, that was it's crazy to think. He didn't feel confidence. super, super, super strong on the ground either. I felt very confident every time I got taken down that I could get back up, um, and that I wasn't going to take too much damage. Obviously, I would rather have not gotten taken down. Um, but he had some good entries. He had yeah. some good, good entries, and and got deep in on my legs, but. Didn't do much with them. Got back up every time, pretty much. How were you um, feeling cardio wise? I mean, you came out of the third looking really good, but were you tired yeah. at any point? Or were you- I, I didn't. I, I mean, dude, you're fucking. You're, you're tired. I, I heard someone saying. I don't even want to say the name. It just sounded so fucking stupid. Saying that I just looked complete gassed and emotionally fatigued, and like I was nervous. And dude, I I literally. And I'm not making this up. I'm not trying to sound. I I didn't get. I wasn't nervous. Fight week. I wasn't nervous in the back. I wasn't nervous walking out to the fight. I had no nerves going into that fight. I, I didn't feel like I had an adrenaline dump. And it's crazy that people. Uh, I guess it's everyone. It's opinions, and they don't know how I feel. So it's not that big of a deal. But cardio wise, felt really good. Um, you know, I'm glad I had as hard of a camp as I did because I had and I and I felt good going into the fight. So I didn't. You know, I had to I had to be a hundred percent in there to get to get that dub, to even just go fifteen minutes with Peter because that motherfucker came to win. Yeah, and he's been through five rounds and five rounds. And after that first round, though, going to like the second, I felt like I was like I felt him slowing down a bit. I felt like he wasn't expecting that. No, that's what I felt like right after the first round. Going into the second, I felt like I was like this motherfucker was not even expecting that at all. Right, and he wrestled you, which can. I mean, those picking you up and trying to shoot for takedowns, that causes a lot of... And then I get back up, and then I'm punching him, and I'm like, he's like, probably like, God damn it. Um, But yeah, a lot of stupid fighters, a lot of stupid uh, people uh, making YouTube videos, and I watch them. I watch some of them. It's fucking hilarious. What's up, Sugar Squad? If you like this video, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and click down below to check out the full episode and subscribe to be a part of the journey.